Okay, so people have been saying Plasma is pretty mid, at least for singles, for double battles is pretty insane, but for single battles, yeah, people wanted to get a buff. So, we'll see. I'll give it like a week or two first, decide if it actually really needs one, and then I'll give it a buff. But while we're waiting for that, let's actually see. Are we wrong? Okay then, hopping into the first battle, and uh, yeah, they have quite a lot of range attackers, so I might be able to paralyze a heck of a lot of things, so I like that, so let's actually see if Plasmoth is good. Okay then, let's go for the Gargolem lead, try and get some Babs down, and that is a Land Torch lead, okay. Now you see, I don't really want to take a hit from Land Torch, so I feel like I probably should switch out here, so... Yeah, I think I'll just go into Plasmoth, maybe get a Lucky Paralyze immediately, please? P please, please. Flash and Flea, that is still a Ranger hit, okay? It does next no damage, and unfortunately, I don't get the uh, Paralyze, unluckily. It's fine though, what is your next switch in? Chienta, okay. I have got Tricky Tactics, but you are definitely going to outspeed me. We are not running like that much speed. I can outspeed Vesperatu, that's about it. So here, Len, I think we always switch into your snack. I don't really have like another switch in, so I guess this is gonna have to do and I'm clicking baffle immediately. And let me guess, just... Oh, I actually go for brawn boost. I actually, looking at their team again, they have got a lot of setup sweepers. That is not good for me. But yeah, we always go for the baffle here, though. They go for Radiant Rush, it misses, that is actually really, really lucky. And uh, actually thinking about it, like, what should I go into here? Like, Gargolem can't one-shot it, Land Torch can threaten it, but I don't know if I'd actually one-shot it with Fire Breath. Morfezu probably can't one-shot it, because I don't have Metal Blast on this one. I have um, Psycho. I think I actually go Plasmoth again, and I just click Tricky Tactics. They just gave themselves a plus two melee attack, and I should have speed it now, so... Yeah? Actually, if I stayed in the first turn, though, and just clicked Tricky Tactics expecting Brawn Boost, that would have been so funny. But yep, I will be taking your melee attack there and using it against you. Yeah, I should give more things Tricky Tactics. It's just, the things that have Tricky Tactics don't really use it. Plasmoth, I think, is actually the first Lumion that genuinely can run it and not be like a throwaway move. Okay, then next up is Snagoop. I'm actually a little bit surprised about this one. Um, We could go for just Power Surge. I mean, what are you going to hit me with? Actually, yeah, I don't really know what you're going to hit me with, so I'll just hit you in return. Okay, Shell, that is going to do a lot of damage, but my Milkshake will activate. So, hey, we're back to like 75% of our health. And yep, yeah, Paralyze. No Paralyze, dang it. Um... I could just hit them again. I think that's probably for the best, is just to hit them. I mean, we got rid of low shell, so this next one won't do that much. If I do get poison low, that would suck, but they don't, so nice. Fortunately, I didn't get the paralyze, but I took it out anyway. So, I mean, better than nothing, I guess. I guess the best thing low for Plasma is to try and like force it to switch in. Okay, they're actually going to land torch. Um, well, I know for a fact that I won't outspeed it, and I also don't really have like a good switch into Land Torch, so maybe I just leave Plasma Fin to hopefully paralyze it. That is like my my only thing to do right now. I think I'm gonna click Tricky Tactics again, though. I think I'd rather have damage if I don't get the paralyze. So let's try this. I actually I'll speed it. What? Oh <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> wait. What? Okay, so. Is it running like nimble smarts? Oh, it's obviously not a um, boot, so I mean, I'll take that at the very least. I'm actually really surprised. Well, great. I should have just gone for flash and flea, I guess. I have, I have no idea. Here, Len, Joltooth, uh, we just always go into Gargolem because uh, I'm assuming this is their soul burst. I don't think the ability works right now, though, so we actually can't hit my um, Gargolem defense super effective, so. We're fine. I hope. Unless Tyrion actually did fix it, and I'm not aware, then that would be a really, really big yikes moment. <laughs> but I don't, I don't think it's fixed yet. Okay, are you just gonna click Drudge? You are. Uh, yeah, no thanks. It looks so good, though. The animation? Oh boy. 
Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for Driving Force. I don't really want you setting up. Okay, so no thanks. I take that promo slash easy. Yep, see ya. I am not dealing with you right now. And it's into their own Gear Golem. Okay, yep. I will gladly take this. I think I actually just go for Bob's now, right? I don't see why not. I want as much chip damage on the uh, Joel Tooth as possible so I don't get sweeps. And they go for Icicle Traps. Okay. That's actually really bad. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I have got Lantar Slow, so I can potentially get rid of them. So not, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Let's go for... Um, do I just Driving Force now? I kind of want more layer of battles, but I think I'll actually go for the Driving Force now. Nice, so we just get you down. And hopefully it's the land torch here. It is... Okay, it is. Nice. A little bit of chip damage. Here, Len, I think I just go and switch into my Plasmoth. Obviously, it's a horrible idea. I mean, I am going to lose Plasmoth, but that's fine. It's out of energy. It's got no health left, so... I think it's fine to sacrifice it here. Although, unfortunately, I am going to die to the Ice God Trap, so the Land Torch can't hit me. Potentially letting me paralyze it. But that's fine, because uh, I think I can actually go into my own Land Torch now. And we should outspeed it. If my Plasma fell speed it, there's no way my Land Torch isn't. So, yep. We go into Land Torch, and I think we just keep clicking Flare until everything dies, I think. Okay, then, so let's just start racking up the KOs. The only tough one is going to be Gargolem. I can hit it for a lot of damage, but I don't know if I'd actually, like, win in a 1v1. So I think I should actually save Lantorch here and switch into maybe your snack and just baffle into my Morfezu. Uh... The only issue is Driving Pulse. I don't really want them to click Driving Pulse here, so I'm going to go into your snack. This way they can't click it, right? I think this is the right decision. Maybe? Yep, okay, this was the right decision. Now I'm going to go for uh, Baffle, and I'm going to get my Morphez on the battle, so I can start hitting this Garagolum and just chunking it down, so my Lantorch can just get rid of it. Yep, goes for Mudslide. I mean, yeah, my Lyra Barb's gown. That's fine, though. I just want more Fezzer one. We can't really click um, Peace of Mind, obviously, because um, they can just Driving Force us out. That's not a good idea. So I think we just want to go ahead and start just spamming Jet Streams, I think. Yep, there's our first one. Pretty good damage. I can two-shot it. Nice. Hopefully, it's actually my Lantar twitching in right now. Or my Euro Snack. Please. Okay, this is fine. I think Lair should just knock it out. And I also get rid of the Ice Trust, which is kind of what I wanted. Uh, I actually don't know if I'm going to knock it out, but... Uh, I'm I'll am go for Flash and Flee. We do damage, I still have a lot of energy, then I don't take, da I, I don't take damage from the Garagolum. That's probably the safer option. I'll go into my Malfezu here, because if they click uh, Driving Fast, it doesn't really matter. And if they click... Um, Ice Code Trap or Mudslide, my Malfezu is already in the battle, so Mudslide will do no damage, and I don't take damage from Ice Code Trap. So, yep, yeah, we can just go for a Jet Stream here. Actually, we could actually go for Gusts. Yeah? I think I actually go for Gust here, just so I can actually outspeed the Joltooth. Oh, damn it. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot about Driving Pass. Damn it! No! We're fine, though. Here, Lin. I guess actually this is better. Because if I'm going to knock out the Garagolum and my Morphez is on in the battle, the Joltooth basically gets a free um, Drudge, which is also hugely bad for us. So this actually is the best situation because I get to go for a Baffle. I get to go back into my Land Torch. And now I can just click Flare twice. And now we win. This is definitely the better route. So uh, yeah, I I I'm fine with this. Okay, see ya, Lailer Gargolum. And now it's just the, uh, the Joel Tooth. Unfortunately, we didn't paralyze anything. Although, I did uh, get rid of some problematic Lumia. So honestly, not the end of the world. Here, Len, we just click Flare. I mean, there's no reason not to. It should just one-shot it. This would be very unfortunate if it doesn't. But no, we just take it out. Nice. Okay, Len, that went pretty well, I would say. Could have gone better, but... 
I can't complain. It actually did something. Okay, then. Hopping into the second battle, and oh boy, I see a lot of range attackers. The only issue is most of them are already pretty slow, and one of them wouldn't really mind being paralyzed. It means it's slower, so it's an even slower pivot. So, yeah. It's fine, though. Okay, still gonna lead up with Gargolem low. Let's try and get some barbs down. That is a Luminami. Uh, any guesses on how common it is for Luminamis to a Frost Beam? Because I'm going to assume it probably has it. I don't know what to switch into low. I guess Plasmoth. <laughs> I mean, I'm also weak to Ice, but at least I'm not quad effective. So that's one thing. And no, it actually has just has Fosh and Flea. That's fine. I won't do too much. And I do get the Paralyze. Now, yeah, there is slower, so it is a slower pivot, which isn't good for me. However, it could get fully paralyzed, so maybe it won't switch out, and I could just easily get the knockout. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Also, if I thought it was going to go for a flash and flee there, I probably would have gone into Lushent instead, and just threatened Timber Thrash. But that is fine, and they go into Hunter. Okay, um... Hmm... Yeah, not a fan of that. I'm just always going to go your snack. So, I have heard, okay, people have, like, been complaining about Plasmoth. Plasmoth is really good in doubles. Obviously, it has so much, like, doubles utility. But for single battles, it's kind of whatever. Like, it's all right. I mean, clearly, you can win battles with it, but it isn't streaming anything. And it isn't like, oh, it's super, super good. So, it is going to get a buff probably in, like, a week or two weeks. I'm going to just collect data first. There's no point in, like buffing something immediately after it's got released. So I'm thinking about giving it Rejuvenate so it can actually heal. After doing like some calcs, it seems fine. I mean, it has like, what, slightly worse bulk than Eliguana, and that already has Rejuvenate. So I think that'll be fine. Although than that low, there are some other moves. I think I said I was going to give it Dissipate, so it could be a slow pivoter, because that will always go last. And what was the other one? Oh, and tear it down. I completely forgot what the other one was. And tear it down. So yeah, I think that would also make it pretty good. I mean, for singles at least. For doubles, it's already pretty good. Here low, I'm going to go for the baffle. I don't think Hunter's going to stay in. So easy pivot into whatever I want. And yep, yeah, it's just Luminami. So here, I think I'm just going to go into my Lushent. I don't see why not. And now here... Do I go for Earthquake, or do I go for Timber? I think I just have to go for Timber, right? I hit the Luminami pretty hard, and if they switch, I hit something else pretty hard. And I don't think they have anything that resists plants, so I think we're good here. Oh, 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 almost forgot as well. Also, the recurrence ability is actually going to begin to change as well whenever I do those extra moves. Uh, right now, every time that you use an Electro-type move, it will give you a 20% power increase for the next time you use an Electro Time move. And if you use any other move, it resets that. So, uh, yeah. And also, if you switch, you lose it. So, right now, it's not like super good. Especially this range attack stat. It's not very good. Also, ow. That hurts. That, that really, really hurts. Um, so, instead, I'm thinking about actually changing it. So. It doesn't have a max, also it has a max, once you use 5 electric type moves and it's a plus 100% power, it doesn't go any higher than that. I'm going to get rid of the maximum, and also I'm going to make it so if you switch out, you keep the buff, so whenever you come back in you'll keep whatever percentage buff you have, depending on how many electric type moves you have. And also, also, I'm going to make it so you can't reset it, so if you use Thunder Strike and then like Pharaoh Blast, it won't reset that damage. So yeah, that is going to be a pretty big buff for it, but still pretty gimmicky, obviously. For Moth Ezulen, uh, I think I just go back into Plasmoth, don't I? I kind of want to keep the Lushent around, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I did remove the Luminami, so I mean, Lushent did his job. I kind of want to go for the Paralyzed Chance. This is really, really dumb low. I'm, I'm going to try it. This, this might be dumb low. This might hurt really, really hard. Uh, it didn't do as much as I thought it would, so I'm actually fine with this. Here, then, I'm just going to go for Power Surge. It gave me that nice chip damage. Hopefully, I get the Paralyze. Please? I, I deserve it. Oh, they go for the Withdraw. No! I mean, I'll, I'll take the little bit of chip damage. Nice. Okay, then. Now, 
no, 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 no. If I was being very obvious, I would just go into my Euro snack again, right? They should know that, so they should just go into their, uh... Um... Morfezo again, right? I think. I, I think that's what they should do. It is a little bit too risky, though. I don't really want to take a Chili Chomp. Although, is it Morfezu? It's... It's actually Shout Onyx. Okay. A little bit surprised about that one. I'm actually not gonna lie. I don't want your side to go down low, obviously. For Morfezu, if it was Morfezu, I probably would have clicked Baffle and take the hit and then gone back into my Plasmoth and done it all over again. But for Shout Onyx, I'm just gonna have to switch out, which I think I'm just gonna go into the Lashent so he can't go for a Flash and Flea. And if it knocks me out, I just get a nice switch into my, um... Plasmoth. I forgot his name for a second. So, hopefully it's Flash and Flea. Back to five? Oh no, that is actually not good. I think I have speed at low and also light speed rate. I'm immune, so I think I just Timber Fresh and we're good. I think I have speed it. I think, maybe. I do have speed it, not... Oh, actually, really good damage, nice. And I knock myself out. Nice, okay, Spectral Burst. So I think that's actually a secret ability Charonix, right? Because it didn't set up Fog. I guess it could be Radiance, but that's trash ability. So yeah, I think I did the right play there. Because if it did knock me out and it's the secret ability, it would have got 25% of its health back. Because I knocked myself out, it doesn't get any health back. So yep, I will take that. Now the issue is... What do I go into? Plasma, I mean, yeah, technically can switch into it, but I don't really know what I'm going to do to it. Like, yeah. So I feel like that's probably a waste. I should probably go into... Land Torch, I guess? I, I honestly, I have no idea what to go into here. I'll try Land Torch. This is probably not going to work as well as I imagined. If they have Light Speed Dre, it's going to hurt really hard. Oh no, okay. They... Either just didn't click it, or they don't have it. I'm not gonna complain. Charonix is gone. And Morfezu is back again. Uh, I would like to go back into Plasma, honestly, here, but I don't know if I can take two jet streams. So I think I'm actually gonna go into my Garagolum instead, maybe? Maybe. Ma maybe that's the better idea, right? Uh, this, might, this might be dumb, but... I don't really need the Gargolum for this battle, it seems. It hasn't really been, like, that useful so far. And also, I haven't been able to get Babs down. So, yeah. I think I'll just go for Empathize. Just do some nice chip damage. They can't one-shot me from here, so I'm always guaranteed to live. And then to steal her health. Okay, they actually just go for the weights. Uh, yeah. That's probably the smarter decision. I will be taking some of your health flow. So now I can definitely take a null or two jet streams. So I think actually here I will go for one layer of Bob's. If they start setting up, we just drive and fall slim and get them out of here. And get yeah, they're doing that. So nope. No more games okay. You're not allowed to do that. If I were them, I don't think it would be smart to go for a nuller jet stream, but it's also not smart to go for a peace of mind. Because they probably know I have Driving Force, right? So they should technically hit me here. But if they aren't expecting it, they might get greedy to go for another one. No, they go for Jet Stream. Okay, I was going to say, that does a lot more damage than I thought it would do. Yeah, of course, it critical hit me. If I went for Empathize there, that would have been so good. That would have been so good. And they have a Jaw Tooth. Oh, Gargolem actually would have been really, really good then. <laughs> uh... If I knew they hit a Jaw Tooth, oh no. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just gonna go for another Driving Force and maybe they go for a Drudge. Or maybe I live. I don't think I live low. I don't think it's worth going for Empathize. I'll just try and Driving Force them. Because the worst thing that could happen right now is if they click Drudge. Okay, let's see what move you're clicking. I would assume just Primal Slash, right? I don't really see why not. And yep, okay, I'm gone. It is what it is, but I could just go into Land Torch here. Because I didn't go for the Drudge, and we've already had this matchup before, we should just know it. I'll guarantee a one-shot it. And honestly, I think Land Torch just cleans now. Jolt 2 shouldn't live a hit. Uh, Morfezu 
can live a hit, but it can't switch into me right now. And neither can Hunter. I, I think Hunter I might one shot as well. I actually don't know. Fire Breath is definitely stronger though. If I switch out and come back in and click it. Okay. They took a while to decide and they just chose to stay in. I mean, yeah, honestly, I think Joltuf is... Actually, no. I think Hunter was actually the weakest link on your team. I feel like sacrificing Hunter was probably the smarter decision, but it's fine. Here, Len, you should always go Morfezu. I think I'm just going to hard switch into my um, Plasmoth. I don't know if I can live two jet streams. I'm going to pray I can, but if I can paralyze it, maybe they get fully paralyzed and Lantos just two shots it. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't really know what else to do. Okay, surprisingly they chose to go into Hunter. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting that. I'm always gonna go your snack flow, so uh, yeah. I mean, I am locked into Flare, and I do think Flare can knock it out, but I have no idea what item this Hunter has, so just in case it is potentially Boots, like the 1% chance is running it, I just always go Hunter. Oh, I always go your snack for the Hunter. And yeah, now I just click Baffle. And we're good, I think. I could actually just stay in and start heartbreaking it, but I'm going to go for the Baffle. Just in case I go for the switch into Morfezu here, I don't want to be trapped in against a Morfezu. No thanks. Yeah, let's go for five draws again. That is completely fine. There is my Baffle. So now I know for a guarantee I'm going to outspeed it with my Land Torch. So, yep. Let's just go back into it. I don't think it's worth clicking Fire Breath. Is it just worth me clicking... Flare? Flare should just knock it out. I can't see it not. So... Although... And I, it actually doesn't really matter what I click because I'm going to be switching out immediately anyway. Yeah. So I'll, I'll go for Fire Breath just to make sure it goes down just in case Flare doesn't knock it out. Which I don't see it not doing but oh well just play it play it safe okay be a form of Ezu, i'm always switching now i i don't care i'm gonna go into your snack first just because we don't need it anymore um and if we start setting up it's fine i can just go for a baffle anyway and uh, yeah hopefully they just knock me out low i'm kind of hoping they do they actually don't i have two energy or two health i mean yeah that does waste their energy but I was kind of hoping just to get knocked out, not gonna lie. I'm gonna go for the baffle though, just so uh, they can't use my your snack as setup fodder. We are not trying to deal with that today, okay? They do get a free weight, but that's fine. I'm just gonna go into my um, Plasmoth now and just uh, try and get some nice chip damage, potentially even paralyze it. Basically just weaken it enough so my land torch is just gonna knock it out. Could have actually gone for a slap down on it, actually, to get rid of that health amulet. That is a pretty annoying item for it to have. Oh, I actually have provoke as well. I could provoke so it can go for setup. I don't know if that's really worth it. It honestly might be. Honestly, yeah, I'm going to provoke it first because I will also speed it. Because Morphez with slow will learn Vesperatu. I'm fast learn Vesperatu. So, yeah, that is actually perfect. And I think actually it said that they did use a. Yep, I think they actually went for a peace of mind, so yep, I will take that. Now it's power surge time. Let's get me some damage. Honestly deserved. I'm pretty sure you critical hit me earlier. Very deserved. Okay. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that's not fair. Uh, here, low, we can just go for another power surge. I was going to say, that did a lot more damage than I was expecting, but I'll take it. Paralyze? No paralyze. Damn it, man. It's fine, low. Oh, okay, okay, you get another critical hit. This Morfezu is actually cheating. Like, it is actually cheating. I hate you. But it's fine, because it is weak enough now, so my uh, Land Torch should just get rid of it. I always go for Flare here, and I think we're good, right? That was a, a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. It's, like, slowly, like, dawned on me, like, oh, Morfezu is actually really, really scary. If I don't paralyze it and my mo and my um, Plasmoff goes down early, don't know how I'm going to really deal with Morfezu, but we we managed to do something against it. Also, that Joltooth kind of got that they had it on their team. So, yeah, as soon as I started coming against my Gargolem when I was on one health, wasn't a good feeling. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I have Lantog, so 
I can just always get rid of it. Okay then, jumping into the set, we're running 104 speed TPs with a nimble personality, which will let us outspeed Vesperatu. The 12 energy TPs are level 50, it will give us a total of 256 energy, which will let us use 1 tricky tactics and 4 power surges or flash and fleas. And then the 200 health TPs and 184 range defense TPs along with a clever personality will give us a lot of range bulk to play around with. For the held item, we're going to want something defensive like a health amulet, a milkshake, a heavy shield or maybe even an energy orb, but me personally, I'm going to be using the milkshake item. Then for the ability, we're running the secret ability charge arc, which will let us potentially paralyze the opponent if they hit us with a range attack 20% of the time. And then finally for the moves, we're running power surge as our electric stab that has a good chance to paralyze, flash and flee will let us pivot, provoke will let us prevent the opponents from using any support moves, and then tricky tactics will let us hit melee attackers with their own offensive stats. Although there are lots of other options like Ferroblast, Thunderstrike, Square One, Taze, Tribute, Pestilence, or even Pester, so take your pick. 